Hey guys and welcome to this podcast episode. Today we're going to talk about a topic that is relevant for everyone who is struggling to go out of their comfort zone. And to be honest, in the last few weeks, I struggled a lot with this topic. So as you guys know, I'm going through a quite stressful phase right now in my life since I decided to retire myself with 26 years old. So I'm closing the Wool Business, the Wool Business Mentorship Program. And I decided one last time to let eight girls in into this business mentoring program. So that means I will have quite some work for the next few weeks. So, and by being in this phase, I noticed that I'm trying to find excuses for doing the things that are literally um, making the life that I'm living right now. For example, maybe the gym, the nutrition, things like that, things that I do on a regular basis to keep up with the version that I am right now. So, and I want to tell you guys a little story and it's so simple, but you will see how, how, how life-changing the story will be for you. So I went to the gym, I think day before yesterday it was. And I had a cardio session on my plan. And to be honest, I wasn't feeling at all like cardio. So I don't know if it's the same thing also for you. But for me, cardio is the most exhausting um, type of workout for me. Because it's literally like it's a battle with myself when it comes to my mind. So I don't know if you have the same feeling when you're running that your mind is literally going crazy. And you, you can't stop thinking. And then you know, okay, you need to keep doing this for the next 30 minutes this is the same thing with me even if I'm listening to music like my mind is not stop stop thinking so and I knew on this day like I'm already like mentally so exhausted because I have so many things on my mind and so many things that I need to do etc that I don't want to go into this literal, literally 30 minute therapy session with myself that I'm actually going always into when I'm running. So, but I decided, okay, let me give it a try. Let me give it a try for five minutes and give my absolute all in these five minutes. After 10 minutes, I realized that I was running for 10 minutes and I decided to get these 30 minutes done. So, and this is literally the power of giving things a try. Because when you're already limiting yourself and you are already saying to yourself, I'm not going to do that, it will be too hard, etc., you're not giving it at least a try. Maybe you were being capable of doing it, but you did not give it at least a try. And this is something that I'm implementing in every single area of my life. It doesn't matter if it's business, it doesn't matter if it's, fit, if, if it's fitness, if it's nutrition. I always give myself at least one try and I always try to give my absolute all when I give it a try. For example, very good example, when it comes to nutrition, I struggle so much taking the, the right food or the right dishes because I'm like, I don't want to say I'm a fat ass, but I love to eat and everyone knows that I love to eat. So, and I always like to take the dishes that are like more, you know, like cheat uh, meals and things like that. So, but I always say to myself, okay, let me give it a try to order the first dish very healthy. If I still have after that the desire to cheat, I can cheat. So and what end up happening is that I eat my healthy meal and that I'm already full. You know what I mean? And this is how I literally trick myself to go out of my comfort zone and to take the right decisions. So, and I think you should definitely try it out in all areas of your life. And I think most of the people out there are not giving things a try because they are scared, they suck at it, they are scared they fail or whatever it is like they're scared to take the risk so and at the end of the day if you want to become successful in your life if you want to become like a very impactful person like that girl literally you need to start giving things a try you need to start like taking the risk of failure and there is one thing that I can assure you, when I take a look at all the super successful people out there, all the super successful entrepreneurs, people that you are actually looking up to, every one of these people, like every single one, they failed at one point. They sucked at one point. Like even the most, most 
I would say even the most talented singer out there wasn't the talented singer from day one. Like this girl trained, like this girl trained every day to become the person that she is today. Best example even with me. I wasn't the best entrepreneur, the smartest entrepreneur out there when I started my business. Like I literally failed so many times, I did so many mistakes. But from this failure, I learned who I need to really become to become that person that is an absolute expert right now. And one thing that I want to make sure when you give things a try is that you commit yourself for a certain time. Because a lot of people always say, okay, let me give it a try. And they directly stop after one minute. Like you need to give yourself like a proper, I would say, time frame where you can show yourself that you're capable of doing things. Because when you show yourself that you're capable of doing these things, you're literally having the first feeling of a win. And when you have the first feeling of a win, what happens? You keep going. And this is literally also the same thing that happens with students of mine. When students of mine are having the f their first win with their Instagram theme page or let's say personal branding business, they directly keep going. They have much more motivation because they see, okay, actually it works. So, and one thing that I want you to do is to really set a proper time frame. Let's say you want to start a business. For my case, in my case, for example, the give it a try, time frame that I had was six months. I said to myself, okay, for six months, I'm becoming a complete ghost. Like I'm just focusing on me, myself, my business, my fitness and nutrition, that's it. I will not go in any parties. I will cut off all these toxic friends. Like I will just focus on this business, on this business. And no matter what happened, I will give my absolute all. Like I will commit myself for these six months. And if it doesn't work out after the six months, at least I could say I tried it. And guys, when I can tell you something, the feeling of regret is the worst thing in this world. Imagine now sitting here, let's say five years later, looking back and asking yourself, man, why I did not take this decision? And seeing all the people out there succeeding, making money, etc., living their dream life. It doesn't need to be necessarily business. It can also be nutrition, fitness. It can even be mindset. You know what I mean? Imagine you are now in a situation where you look back and you realize how easy it is to condition your mind to think more positively, to enjoy life more, to uh, feel more gratitude and being overall happy and realizing, oh my God, if I would have done that already five years earlier, I would have such an amazing time. Like I literally wasted so many years of my life. And this is something that actually happened to me. Like, as you guys know, I was living for so much, for so long, like in this kind of victim mindset. Like I always thought everything is happening against me. And I always thought everything else is the problem, but I'm not the problem. So, and what ended up happening is that I um, made such, a, I would say, like painful experience. In my case, it was that my mom got cancer and I also struggled with some mental issues. Like I had a lot of self-doubt, things like that. And this made me wake up. Like this made me realize, okay, I need to change something. And this was the day where I started like step by step changing my, my life and changing the way how I think and see things. I started reading books. I started getting help. I started listening to mindset coaches, etc., and things like that. And then when I reached the point where I finally were completely free in my mind and were completely like, you know, like I was like very positive. I was finally enjoying life. I had such a feeling of regret of, oh my God, why I haven't done this earlier? Of course I have done it at the end of the day, but I literally had on my mind why I did not take the chance earlier. Like I would have such a great time already. So, and in my opinion, you should at least give things where you know it could change your life forever. It could impact your life in such an amazing way. At least one try and commit yourself. Because at the end of the day, it's always better to give something a try instead of accepting the sad truth for yourself and saying, okay, that's how it is. That's 
how life is. Like I can change something. I'm going to accept it. It's better to at least go for, let's say, a couple of months of your comfort zone and to give things a try. When it comes to give things a try, it's super important that you, um, I would say, that you adjust or I would say structure the process of you to come to your goal that you can do it on a long run. And this is what I mean by that. Let's imagine you have the goal of, let's say, getting, I don't know, like, let's say building a business. You have the goal of building a business. It's like a social media agency, same case, like we did it back then. And to grow the social media business, like to make real money from it and to have like a real business foundation, you need clients, of course. So in every single time when you um, need to get clients, the only way how you're getting them is by doing cold calls, like you're calling them every day. So and now imagine if you could do that for the rest of your life. Probably not. So and if this is the answer, if the answer is not, okay, the kind of process that I'm going through to get to my goal is 100% something that I can't do for the rest of my life. You need to think about to adjust the process because let's say, for example, you want to lose weight and the way how you are losing weight or how you are kind of also keeping the, the current weight that you have right now is to crash diets. And if you are 100% sure that you can't keep doing these crash diets for the rest of your life, then you need to 100% change it because this is actually like the, the only reason why you can keep going on the long run because it's, it's not something that you enjoy on the long run. And you need to create a process that is so enjoyable that you can do it even if you don't feel like it and even for years over years and over years. And this is the same thing how I'm going to do it with every single, how I'm doing it with every single area of my life, like every single area where I have a specific goal that I want to reach, I ask myself, okay, how I need to restructure the process so it's enjoyable for myself and so that I can do it on a long run. Of course, you will not be able to, to uh, I would say, remove completely the pain of something that is that 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 is taking you out of your comfort zone like getting out of your comfort zone hurts like this is something that everyone knows like it hurts it's uncomfortable that's why we call it hey you go go out of your comfort zone but i'm 100% sure that there are some ways how you can for example adjust or restructure the process so it's a bit more enjoyable for yourself maybe don't go for a crash diet, maybe go for a complete lifestyle change. Of course, it will maybe take you more time to lose weight, but it's something that you can do on the long run when you think about it. So my message to you is to just go for it. Just give it a try. Whatever you have in your mind that you always wanted to do, just go out and give it a try. Because to be honest, this one mantra changed my life completely. For example, when we lost all our money a few years ago with our dropshipping business and Selena came up, like my business partner came up with the idea to build a business with code pages. And I said like, hey, that's impossible. I don't think that we could do it. I just thought to myself, okay, let's give it a try. Let's give it a try and let's commit ourselves for two months. And what end up happening is that I have today a community over nine, with 900,000 followers. I made my first million through it. So and it completely changed my life just because I said, okay, let me go for it. Let me give it a try and let me give my absolute all. Like in the first two months of building this quote page business, we have seen so many results that we said, okay, let's go for it. Let's give it a try. Let's do it. So and this is something that you should definitely implement in your life. Like give things a try. Just go for it. No matter how scary it might sound for you right now in your head, whatever you have on your heart right now that you want to accomplish, no matter how delusional it sounds right now, even my goal sounded delusional in the beginning. It's fucking delusional to get rich with quote pages, but I still gave it a try and that's why I'm here and why I'm living this beautiful life now and I'm able to retire even myself. So, and 
one thing that you need to understand is that you need to take risk. Like there's no way out. Every single person that you're seeing out there who is succeeding in business, in fitness, in nutrition, like every single person that reached one of the milestones that you have right now on your mind that are inside of your heart, every single person took a risk. Do you think the yard owner that is right now in the harbor that this person did not risk it? Did, did you not realize that the, the, the Lamborghini driver that you're seeing on the street did not risk it? Like every single person out there took a risk to live the life that they're living right now. And it's not even in business with that like this. It's in all areas of your life like this. Maybe it's, I don't know, the kind of relationship that you want. Maybe you need to take that risk. Maybe you need to go on dates, even if you don't feel like it. And I think I already talked about this topic in another podcast episode. Our relationship is like a business. Like if you want to have that literally A1 relationship, you need to be comfortable with taking risks. It can be that your heart gets broken at the end of the day. Even if it's nutrition, it can be that you will fail a few times on the journey, that you will go a few times on the journey back to your old habits, that you will not be able to enjoy restaurant, um, restaurant or dining experiences like you were experiencing them before and that you're missing out on something, but on the long run, you're gaining something. It can be that you're also sacrificing some time when you're going um, through your fitness journey because you're spending now more time in the gym. But at the end of the day, you will have your dream body. Like you need to sacrifice things to get what you want. And trust me, it is worth it. It is 100% worth it to fight for life and to take risk for life that is better than the life that you're living right now. Why would you accept right now a life that completely sucks, that you're absolutely not enjoying, just because it's comfortable? Just because it's comfortable. Like, I don't think life is there to live it comfortable. Like, life is there to go through experiences, to go through up and downs. That's why you have in life these up and downs. Because why would God give us like this, I would say, this path of life? If not, we would have like a complete stable life and everything would be fine the whole time. No, God wants us to have a life with up and downs. God wants us to make le less learnings, to, to, to make experiences out there. So you should definitely be open for it. You will fail you will make mistakes. You will not be the best at it in the beginning. Even when I think about myself, like I made so many mistakes. A few years ago, when I started my journey, I couldn't even speak in front of camera. Like it wasn't possible. And now you see me here, like literally going through the whole podcast, like with not even like a cut. Like I can talk completely fluently. You know what I mean? I wasn't even speaking English like two years ago. Like not a single word. Just because I said to myself, okay, let's give it a try. And let's just trust let's trust God, let's see what happens. So in my case, I did not know how I'm going to learn English, how I'm going to build this whole business in English because I started consulting people in English. But I said, okay, let me give it a try. Let me start a consulting business in English. Let me go like baby steps, like step by step, like I don't know, like watching Netflix series in English. Let's watch movies in English. Let's um, text with friends in English. Let's um, get on phone calls in English. Let's even create some script for fucking consulting calls so I could speak with my clients. Like all these dumb things that I did broke me to the, the point where I'm, where I'm at today. So just giving it a try and trusting the process. Trust me, when you do something, you will get step by step everything you need to do. Like, I don't think that there will come any moment in your life where you don't know what to do. And if so, it should be like that. Trust me, every single time where I did not know what to do in my life, it was a phase where I just should stop. I just should stop and take a break. But 
after a certain time, I got my answer. Like I got all the opportunities that I needed to build my business, to come to the point where I'm at today. So, and I want to give you guys like a little side story before I end this podcast, because I think this will be so valuable for all of you guys, especially um, regarding the topic of giving things completely blindless a try and just seeing what happens at the end of the day. So when I started my business, um, I couldn't speak English at all. Like I said, um, I was running before that like a social media agency, but it was in a German speaking market. And then Selena had the idea of starting this quote page business. So and when we started this quote page business, we did not know how to monetize the quote page. Um, and one thing that happened, like I said, we did not know what we should do next. Like we built up the page, we got a lot of reach. And what ended up happening is that the audience was telling us what we should do next. Like every single of these girls under our comments were telling us, please teach us how to build a page like this. Please teach us how to build an online business because they were seeing that we were running an agency before and doing all these things. So, and there we had our answer. And sometimes we don't see specific things because we don't want to see them because we're so scared what will end up happening is when we give it a try, but we should just trust and do these things. So in our case, we were so scared. Like we literally waited for months till we decided to start a coaching business to coach and consult other girls on how to build a page like this, how to run a social media agency on all these things because we couldn't speak English, but we said, okay, Hey, let's give it a try. Like all these girls are speaking English, English, let's go for it. So we had the first consulting call. I remember with our first client, she was a um, very, very successful corporate girl. And she was even an English teacher. And you know, imagine us like as girls that can speak English, being in front of a person like that and consulting this person regarding her Instagram and her business and everything. And you know, we created a whole script, what we wanted to say or what we should say during the, the call with her. And we had on the other side also the translator, like Google translator. So we could see what we um, could tell her every time and everything like that. So, and the thing was that we could understand English in some kind of way, but we couldn't speak it. So maybe, you know, the situation. So, and what ended up happening is after the call, she said to us, oh my God, oh my God, you girls speak such a good English. Sometimes you are scared about things for no reason. Every, every person out there has a completely different perspective. Every person has a different perspective when it comes how good something is and how beautiful something is. And I think you should get, just go for it. You will come across people that will tell you like, Hey, your English, English is not good enough. For example, after consulting for two girl, two years, girls all around the world, um, on how to build a business, there was just one girl and she was absolutely a hater that said to us like how bad our English was. All the other 450 girls that we consulted on our journey were not telling us a single time that our English was not good enough. They were complimenting us. So, and what ended up happening next is that of course, we got the confidence and we just kept going. And this is literally the result of the process that I'm trying to explain you during this whole podcast to just give things a try, to trust God that he will came, come up with a next step for you and to take the energy and the power of your first win. Because when you have this first win, you will keep going. It's the same thing with the story that I already told you guys um, regarding the fitness with the cardio session. I don't want to do cardio and I said to myself, let's go for it for at least five minutes and give my absolute all. I was seeing I was already running for 10 minutes and I said to myself, okay, this wind feels so good. Let me fix the, if, uh, let me finalize the last 30 minutes. And this is something that you can literally implement in all areas of your life. Like if there's something that can truly change your life, then it's literally this formula. It's literally this formula because everything that I have in my life, everything that I reach 
was just by implementing this formula, by just giving things a try, trusting God, getting the power from the first win. And I would also say, especially in the beginning, just being a bit delusional and just giving a try, just be a bit delusional. So that's really it for this podcast episode. If you think this was super, super valuable, I would um, love you to yeah, subscribe to this channel, um, put a thumbs up and um, yeah, let me know what you think about this episode in the comments and see you in the next one.